Not so long ago, Ford CEO Jim Farley said that nothing else matters until they fix quality problems. But that doesn't mean, while dealing with quality control and reliability issues, the development of new models was neglected, as some were suggesting. No, the Blue Oval Company looks to the future and has already prepared quite an impressive number of novelties for the next year. Stay with us, because the Ford CEO has just revealed seven new Ford models and boy, it really defies all expectations. Number 7. Ford Maverick Lightning Some say that Ford management never had big expectations from Maverick in terms of sales numbers, and that this is the main reason why, two years later, it still can't meet surprisingly high demand. On the other hand, there was always a plan to use this light pickup as a kind of paradigm for the company's transition from internal combustion to battery electric vehicles. The plan was to offer a gas and hybrid version first, and then to introduce an all-electric version. And that's what's happening right now. The Ford Maverick Lightning is coming next year. Thanks to the fact that Ford engineers have already modified the familiar C2 platform to accommodate an all-electric powertrain, the whole process of fully electrifying Maverick isn't that hard. We presume that a lot of parts will be shared with the Mustang Mach-E, which comes in two variants when it comes to the battery pack, with a 70 or 91 kilowatt hour setup, which ensures from 224 to 312 miles of range, depending on the configuration. So similar numbers are expected from this pickup. Regarding powertrain and performance, we presume that the Maverick is going to use a little bit smaller electric motors compared to the fully electric Pony, though a dual motor version that provides all-wheel drive is definitely expected. As for the rest of the design, we expect the same correlation as the one between the F-150 and F-150 Lightning. The overall design and size shouldn't be much different, though the all-electric Maverick will definitely stand out with its unique front-end design and better equipped cabin. And of course, it will be more expensive. Number 6. Ford Mustang GTD the Mustang has always been a perfect sports car for the working class. Affordable, but powerful. Not particularly capable in curves, but very fast on the straight line. The new generation is no exception, but things are about to elevate significantly very soon, as the company is bringing a completely new version, the GTD. And no, this won't be a Shelby version of the most iconic pony. This will be a genuine supercar, taken directly from the track. It will be a street legal version of the Mustang GT3, something you can really see on 24-hour Le Mans and similar races. And if you wonder how a Mustang can cost $300,000, we will explain it to you in a second. That's because there is nothing in common with the standard model. The body is made almost completely from carbon fiber, which makes it lighter and also stiffer. Of course, big upgrades are coming in the powertrain department too as the GTD will get the same engine as the Shelby GT500, a supercharged 5.2-liter V8, which will get additional tuning and feature a max output of around 800 horsepower. The engine will come in pair with an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission, which sends power to the rear wheels via a driver shaft that is, as you may guess, also made from carbon fiber. Number 5. Ford Taurus Ford was probably the first company that realized the conventional passenger cars, such as sedans, were losing the war against crossovers and SUVs. And that's why they already dropped such body styles from the offer and currently produce primarily SUVs and pickup trucks, at least in North America. For that reason, many of the well-known models were killed, including the Taurus, a fine family sedan that was part of the company's lineup for decades. Well, the tables may turn much faster than anyone could have presumed. Today, it's clear that sedans can coexist with SUVs and that there is still a solid demand, as sales numbers of models like Accord and Camry suggest. So the Blue Oval Company has decided to bring back this mid-sized sedan. However, we won't see a brand new model because Ford never stopped making Taurus. Right after the discontinuation, the company introduced a new generation, designed for markets like China, the Middle East, etc. And that model is now to be offered in the US as well which means a little bit different design compared to the predecessor, mainly in terms of size, because this particular vehicle is a little bit smaller compared to the previous US market model. But more importantly, this is a modern car, with a well-built interior and lots of modern technologies, while various sources also suggest that the North American version will come with an electrified powertrain, hybrid, or maybe even fully electric. Number 4. Ford Explorer EV 
For decades, the Explorer has been one of the most popular nameplates in Ford's lineup. This mid-sized SUV has always been a strong seller and is primarily associated with the North American market. But the all-electric Explorer will be something different. Other than the name, it won't have many things in common with the gas-only and hybrid versions. Moreover, it is a vehicle designed by another company, and it will be offered primarily in Europe. Not so long ago, Volkswagen introduced a new generation of its pickup, the Amarok, and it is pretty much a rebadged Ranger. Now it's time for the German car maker to return the favor and the Explorer EV is part of it, as it is heavily based on the ID4. It may feature a little bit of different styling and cabin design, but things under the skin are almost identical. This means that the new SUV will be offered in two variants when it comes to the battery pack, with 52 kilowatt hour or 77 kilowatt hour setups, which should ensure between 220 and 335 miles on a single charge, depending on the configuration. As for the electric motors and performance, we expect base models to feature a single motor setup with 285 horsepower, while the dual motor version expected to put out 340 horsepower. The all-electric Explorer will hit the market already in the next summer. Number 3. Ford Capri Old nameplates in most cases bring great memories and Ford Capri is a great example. Back in the day, it was one of the most attractive models Ford was offering in Europe. With its sleek two-door coupe layout, it was pretty much a Mustang in a small package, perfectly adapted to the preferences of European buyers of the time. But those were completely different times and even though we are happy that Ford is bringing back the famous nameplate, things won't be all that great at least from the perspective of diehard Capri fans. Namely, other than the name, not many things will be shared with the old model. The new one will come with a completely different body style, as you may guess, a small crossover. And once again, we're talking about the product of a joint venture with Volkswagen. Just like the all-electric Explorer, the new Capri will share most parts with the ID family, but it will be smaller and more affordable. The offer is expected to start with a single 170 horsepower electric motor and a 55 kilowatt hour battery that ensures around 220 miles of range. More expensive versions, on the other hand, are expected to come with a bigger battery and two electric motors with 300 horsepower and 330 miles of range. Number 2. Ford Everest EV It may not be a so familiar nameplate in North America, but Everest is one of the most important models for Ford in parts of the world like Australia and Asia. This is a genuine SUV that rides on a body-on-frame platform and offers traditional SUV qualities, ruggedness, utility, and off-road performance. And now, it looks like it could come in a more modern package as an all-electric SUV. The initial plan was to offer a plug-in hybrid first, but that's been ruled out. It turns out that this kind of powertrain is the least popular in these parts of the world. So it doesn't surprise us that the company has decided to skip this step in the evolution and go directly for full electrification. At this point, not many details are known, but if we consider that the Everest shares most of the parts with Ranger, we may presume that the Australian department is developing electric versions of these two models simultaneously. The overall design isn't expected to be much different from the conventional models, and when it comes to the powertrain, we have no doubt that there will be a dual motor setup providing the level of capability you would expect from a classic 4x4 SUV. Number 1. Ford Ranchero The instant success of the Maverick encourages other car makers to enter the segment of small pickups, but it seems like Ford wants to remain a step ahead of the competition. Namely, the latest report suggests that the Blue Oval Company is working on another, even smaller unibody pickup which will, besides North America, also be offered globally. And for that occasion, Ford will use another legendary nameplate from the past, the Ranchero. The iconic coupe Oot was one of the most beloved Fords back in the 60s and 70s and still brings fantastic memories. So playing on the nostalgia card makes perfect sense in this case. Even though the new Ranchero won't have much in common with the old model, it will be much smaller and definitely won't feature the kind of powertrain the old muscle coupe Oot was using. Instead, it will rely on small displacement engines with three or four cylinders and may even come as a diesel in some parts of the world, as well as with an all-electric powertrain. Thanks for watching and see you next time.